numbers can also be written in scientific notation. In scientific notation, the number is written as a product of two factors, a number between 1 and 10 and a power of 10. Well, let's start with the number 1 thousandths and see if we can write it in scientific notation. The first thing we need to do is move our decimal so that we have a number between 1 and 10. And when we do that, we move it three places to the right, and that brings us to 1. So our factor between 1 and 10 is simply 1, and then we're going to multiply that by a power of 10. Well, we can see we moved our decimal 1, 2, 3 places. But here, we're working behind the decimal. So each of these represents dividing by 10 or the decimal multiplying by the decimal 1 tenth. So we need to show that in our exponent. So our exponent isn't simply going to be to the third power, it's going to be to the negative third power. That negative shows we're working with decimal values, or that we're dividing by 10 instead of multiplying by it. So in scientific notation, 1 thousandths is going to be worth 1 times 10 to the negative third power. Let's try and look at another example. Here it says it takes 53 millionths of a second for light to travel 1 mile. Well, let's work on writing 53 millionths in scientific notation. The first thing we're going to do is move our decimal back until we have a value between 1 and 10. Well, when we do that, we can drop our zeros because now they're not significant, and our first factor would be 5.3. That 5.3 is going to get multiplied by a power of 10. Well, if we look, we see we moved our decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. But we move that decimal to the right, which means we're dividing by 10 or multiplying by 1 tenth. So again, our exponent needs to show that, and it's going to be negative 5. So in scientific notation, 53 millionths of a second would be written as 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Let's go the other way and find the value of a number written in scientific notation. One way to do that is to solve this using order of operations. To do that, we'll start with the exponent, 10 to the negative third power. Negative exponents mean we're multiplying by the decimal 1 tenth. So since it's to the third power, that would be 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth. Tenths times tenths is hundreds. Hundreds times tens is thousands. So that means we're multiplying by 1 thousandths. So we would have for our final value 3.2 times 1 thousandths. When we multiply that out, that's going to come out to give us 32 ten thousandths. So 3.2 times 10 to the negative third comes out to give us the decimal 32 ten thousandths. The other way we could approach this is to think about what exponents do to place value. Here we have 10 to the negative third power. We said that each place value represents 1 tenth. So 10 to the negative third power would represent 1 tenth, 1 tenth, 1 tenth. So that means we could take our decimal and move it that number of times. One, two, three, because we have an exponent to the third power, we move our decimal three places to the left. Then we could fill in our remaining place values with zeros. When we do that, again, we come out with the value 32 ten thousandths. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.